This is what a streaming farm looks like, aka the black market of the music industry. It's how some musicians and labels distort reality to push their tracks to the top of the charts and earn more money. Streaming farms use bots to artificially play music on platforms like Spotify or Apple Music to drastically inflate the numbers of streams a song gets. In March, a man in Denmark was sentenced to 18 months in prison for getting music streaming services to pay him $290,000 in royalties for fake streams. But that rare case is just a glimpse into the scale of this fraud. In a 2019 Rolling Stone article, Hopeless Records founder Louis Posen claimed this illegal practice potentially steals $300 million a year from artists with legitimate streams from real fans, equaling 3-4% to of all streams. But that estimate is much higher now. A 2023 analyst report from the Financial Times found that up to 10% of all music streams globally are fake. This matters because there's a pool of money that streaming platforms distribute to the rights holders of songs. So when an artist is faking those streams, they're taking money out of that pool that could go to artists with legitimate streams. The creation of streaming farms follows the decline of radio and the rise of its replacement, streaming platforms. Major artists and labels historically paid radio DJs to play their music, but streaming platforms like Spotify are democratizing music, allowing independent artists a platform. But that means larger artists and labels are struggling to stay on top of the charts, so they compete by buying streams. Streaming services like Spotify have recently tried to crack down on this by looking specifically for erratic behavior, like a sudden jump in streams or a song on repeat for hours. A Spotify spokesman person said that when they detect artificial streams, they withhold royalties and tell the label or distributor. They can also choose to remove tracks from the platform and fine labels and distributors. But some musicians say they're being targeted by bots and then unfairly punished as a result. Marketing agencies hired by the artists might be responsible though, going behind the backs of the artists to fulfill their promises. Apple Music has similarly been penalizing streaming fraud too since 2022. But somehow people are continuing to steal from the royalty pool, which is already too small and meant for artists with real fans. And with advancements in AI, who knows what the scale of this issue could actually be now and in the future.